Hi, this is your host Sobhan Bhartia and welcome to 2023 predictions series. And today we have with us once again Antonello Monti, Chair of the Technical Advisory Council at LF Energy. Antonello, it's great to have you back on the show. Thank you, my pleasure as well. Uh, before I ask you to pick your crystal ball and share your predictions, tell us a bit about LF Energy. LF Energy is a very relevant initiative because we need in the energy sector to increase the cooperation so that we can speed up in the process of digitalization of energy, which is, let me say, the key enabler to make sure that we can go through the energy transition. Now it's time for you to pick your crystal ball and tell us what predictions you have for 2023. My first prediction for 2023 is that we will see more real life application of LFE solutions. We have been spending the first years developing solutions, and I think 2023 will be the years of real facts in which we will see concrete impact in the real life of LFE projects. I think we have solutions that are mature enough to bring concrete results in that 2023. My prediction number two uh, will be that well, there is an expansion of topics that we need to cover. It's a trend that is quite strong in Europe and I expect will be reflected in the activity of the LFE, which is the role of data space. And um, we want to bring energy in the concept of data space and which means really opening the possibility of a data economy in the energy sector, which I would say a few years ago was something we could not even talk about was just forbidden territory. Another prediction I have for 2023 is that uh, we will have a stable growth of the foundation. 2023 has been fantastic and uh, I'm very confident 2023 will bring even more satisfaction in seeing how the idea, the, the principles of the foundation are becoming recognized in the energy sector. Thanks for sharing those predictions. If I ask you, what is going to be the focus for the foundation in 2023? Right now, we have our architecture picture that we've been developing at the beginning, and we've been filling this architecture with projects. Now, the, the next uh, challenge is to make sure that those building blocks talk to each other, cooperate with each other. So for me, as a chair of the TAC, Really, this harmonization among different projects, building a coherent full picture is one of the most important activity for 2023. What challenges that you see are going to be there in 2023, not only just for the energy sector, but also from the perspective of LF Energy that you would like to solve and tackle? 2022 has been a very difficult year. We have been really going through an energy crisis at least in Europe, relevant, maybe less in the US, but in Europe is central. And um, I think we, we need to take the good side of the story and understand that we need a different way to approach the energy. And, um, and this is making us more independent. And this is possible only through renewables. And uh, so I hope 2023 will see a massive growth of renewable installation, which will require more digital solution and then more of the project we are doing, the Linux Foundation. Antonello, once again, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about these predictions. And as usual, I would love to talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.